Hello everyone, I'm today's Mac and today I'm going to be doing an app review of the new app which has just been released earlier this week and it's Angry Birds Space in HD for the iPad. So this was released on 22nd of March and you can buy it from the App Store for $1.99 the HD version. That's for the iPad which, have I, which I have got. This is on my new iPad, or you can get it for 69 pence for the iPod or iPhone or any other Apple products, I'm not sure what else you can get it on. So let's get started with the review. First of all, I'm going to tell you about the Angry Birds Space storyline. Um, if you don't want to watch this, you've probably already seen it if you've got the app. You can just skip ahead, it's about two minutes long. So if you want to skip ahead, skip ahead now. So basically what happens, a massive portal comes out and then a new iceberg comes crashing into Earth with its golden asteroid egg. All the good birds are gathering around to look. Here comes the red bird. The iceberg wakes up. It's a bit protective of its egg guarding it from all of them because it probably doesn't know who it is and then this massive claw comes down which is probably controlled by the eggs and it takes the ice bird's egg so that catapults itself into the space portal and then it all seems as if it's over but it isn't because then the angry birds realise that their eggs have also been taken by the pigs so they get really mad and they all get onto the catapult, fire themselves through the portal and then they transform into the evil sort of space looks with the eye masks and whatever you have and then they're in space so here comes the ship controlled by the red things, by the pigs and then all the angry birds follow And that is the storyline behind Angry Birds Space. Right, so the aim of the game has stayed the same throughout the four Angry Birds. Angry Birds, normal Angry Birds, Angry Birds Seasons, Angry Birds Rio and Angry Birds Space. So what there is, is there's these planets here. There's Pig Bang, Cold Cut and Danger Zone. You just go on a planet and then there's 30 levels in each planet. There's a level and a video at the start and end. You fire the bird to destroy the pig and you aim to destroy as much as possible to get as many points as you can. But in Angry Birds Space there's quite a lot of new stuff what I'm going to be showing you. First of all, starting off with Retina Graphics. So the iPad, the new iPad, which has just been released, was, um, it came out with Retina Display Graphics with 3.1 million pixels on the screen. So they have made an updated version which allows it to fill the full potential of the Retina Display. So like the home screen on the iPad, it's really sharp resolution and it's really nice and crisp to look at and also the app logo isn't slightly pixelated like it is for the previous three Angry Birds. Next we have the new gravity fields which is following the theme that it's in space. So what the gravity fields is, is this bubble here and if when you fire it into the bubble it um, follows round in a circle until it hits something and it's sort of pulled into this little planet on there and then it just carries on going round but if there is no bubble on a level it'll just go straight because there's no gravity in space so obviously it'll just go straight see if I fire it up there it goes straight and then if I fire it in there it goes all curved and when you fire it, it follows round and it just goes round in a circle. Um, also, what's new on the levels, if I just restart this one, and this isn't on any of the other Angry Birds, 
if I pull back the bird it shows my target of where the bird is going to go so this makes the game quite a bit easier because you don't have to guess where the bird's going to go you can just fire it and it will go in that direction almost exactly also we have a new bird I can't show you it because I haven't unlocked it yet but the new bird is the ice bird and it turns whatever it hits and a few more stuff around it into ice and then you'll probably get like one of them birds what splits into three to destroy them more easily or they'll just eventually smash um, two more things what's new uh, instead of the golden eggs what you find on the levels you have to unlock egg stroids on the levels so these are just the same as golden eggs they're like puzzles you can see that this one has no birds on no pigs on i mean but then if you hit this brick a pig comes out so the golden eggs or the gold steroids I should say are uh, more like puzzle apps, they take a bit more challenge and a bit more to work out but it's just the same as golden eggs and if you solve them you still get three stars etc. And you unlock as you go along the game, you'll find them in levels or you'll find them in other places. Finally, instead of the golden eagle we have the new space eagle looks like this here it says space eagle and if you're stuck on a level it completes it easily for you a black hole appears and it sucks everything in and then the level has been completed but the bad thing about this is that you have to pay for it it goes from 99 pence for 20 all the way up to 20 pounds to buy 980 Although you do get three of them free when you start off the game and solve a trial. So it's nothing changed, it's just got a new name from the last one. So that's basically all of the new features of Angry Birds Space. Just to sum it up, the good points are it's challenging and very addictive and it's still one of the best and most sold games on the market. The only really bad point I could pick out was it's very repetitive from previous games and once you've played one level you've sort of experienced it all and there's no new stuff until you unlock the new birds so it is the good points overweigh the bad points so it is a very good app and like all apps i'm going to rate them out of 10 stars and angry birds space is the first one to be rated i'm going to give it an 8 so that's my Angry Birds Space review, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video, and that's all for now, bye.